Hi, Lime here. I'm going to show you a video, a piece of this video I made in 2014. All right, there's some th interesting things in here about the um, the objects flying around the moon. Let's take you to one of these creatures. There's one there. There's another one there. Let's see, pause that there. Right, this is on Google Moon on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter layovers that they use or the Apollo missions photos layovers they use. It's found in two places. And then in a minute, I'll take you to an actual Apollo photo from NASA showing this object which I would say could be a large, large flying object. And you're probably thinking, how do they fly on the moon? We don't need much propulsion to move in space. Right, anyway, on with this. So if you can imagine looking at the back of the head of the object, it's facing this way. It's in my opinion, but it could be facing this way. It's in flight, it's got a wing here and a one is down here. So as I said, an elephant's head, looking at it from the back, it might have an inlet for gases that it, it uses for a food source of some kind and comes out here, passes through it and it takes the nutrients from it. Or maybe this is the front where it goes in here and out the back. Maybe, that's just an idea. But imagine this creature, if it is a creature, I don't think it's a bug on the lens because it's found in so many different places on Google Moon and in lots of different NASA pictures and photos from different times. So it's the same bug on the same camera, yeah? When there was different cameras probably used as well. Anyway, if you can imagine a cross between a jellyfish and a stingray, that kind of setup. We know we haven't got no clue. Biological in some way. Maybe. Maybe not, but that's what I'm saying. So if I carry on playing this, and then I think I'll zoom back out. So this is from the Google Moon, Google Earth slash Moon. There's two objects in here, which I'm saying on these layovers, these Apollo layovers or Lunar, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. So we've seen both of the objects. Well, this one looks slightly different to the other one. It's a bit darker and it seems to be in a different, slightly different position. Very similar though. The sun would say, look, if you look, it's very slightly different. It's a piece here. Some would say this could be the front, this could be the back. But if you looked in the other photo, there's a hole here. Right, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to move on to the NASA photos on this old video I made. Right, so now we're going to go to this photo which I'm pointing to a spot on the photo which I'll zoom in in a minute you'll see in a moment so this is the information on the photo I like this bit where it says acceptable use publicly funny all that funny that you see the uh, it's Apollo image Apollo 15 Or 16. Don't know how that works. But if we zoom into that object, which I point out, there's the object right there. This is on a NASA photo. This looks more like the one on the Google Moon, the second one out of the two. As I say, it's in flight. Looking at it from behind. If you look at an elephant's head from behind, maybe, maybe not. This could be the front where it absorbs gases, takes the good stuff out of it, you know, the nutrients, minerals, whatever it needs, we don't know how they work. Right, let's play that a bit. Well, that was in the Apollo photo from NASA, exactly where I pointed out, I zoomed out there, and repoint back at where it was, which you can go and can't find it yourself. Go and have a look for yourself. They're there. Right, now I'm going to show you 
something that I found and captured close to the moon. Um, and I put it through an editor. And I say what I captured is a flying object of some sort, maybe a biological creature. Maybe it's massive, obviously. It flies over a crater. I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to stop this one for the moment. Right, what I'm going to do is show you this creature that's flying over the crater. This is what I'm calling a biological creature. It could be half machine and half biological for all we know. Anyway, right, this is flying over the crater from this direction. This is about the best picture I've got of it. I'm going to show you some clips of videos in a minute. As I say, it's flying from this direction. I'm calling this the front. And this is like wings or whatever. So the body of it here. Wing this side, wing the, that side maybe. Whatever it is. I say it's flying that way. And um, I see it going over three craters and an area that looks like a great big X. You'll see in the bits of video in a minute. Um, part of the bits of video is... There's a green filter I use and I go backwards and forwards and you can see this quite faint but you can see it going over the crater backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I'll show you that in a minute. As I say, this is a creature that I captured um, end of 2018, beginning of 2019. Um, I'll show you the bits of film. I'll put them together and you'll see what I mean. As I say, it's flying from this direction must be massive going over the crater here the shadow of the crater again this is the second large object i've captured going around the moon that i've shown in my video which i'll leave a link in the description box to my other one right i'm going to put this video together and show you this is this is the moon uh, an object will fly over this crater this one you'll see it more going across this one and it goes off into the blackness. I'll play that. And then once you've got your eye trained on that, I'll show that there's something else flying here, which is white as well. It goes into the shadows, but then it darts off that way and it's black. What's this first bit? I'll show you this first bit where the object flies over the craters. Keep your eyes out. See it? I'll play it again so you capture this object. Get your eye trained on this object that's going to cross here. I'll play the video, it will come here, here. Just keep your eye on this one mainly. Now watch this object come across here, it's white, as I say, it goes into the dark and it comes out a different direction. I thought it might have been the shadow for this one, but why would it be white and why would it change to black? I'll play that. See it? So that means that, so that means there's two objects in this video one that flies over the craters here and there's another object goes across here and out of here but it changes color and changes direction hmm interesting that one do some more work on that one how close are we how close are we? Well, this is the object, the top object, the first object, the flying over the three craters. Managed to capture it going across the crater. I've zoomed in. I haven't done anything to it. I won't add any colour. I'll just bring out what's there. No colour added. It's just going through my techniques and the editor. Stuff I've been doing for years. One more go. 
about the best I'm going to get it. That's the front. This is the back. Don't know what these are. Are these wings? Strange. It flying this way. That was the first object. Remember, there was a second one down that I showed you in the, this video. But I'll be doing more work on these. Interesting. This is flying around the moon. Whatever that is, flies around the moon. And it doesn't look like a lunar reconnaissance orbiter for NASA. That's something else, mate. Maybe the moon is that dinosaur stage where the atmosphere is so thin, creatures would be so large. Works like that in the science they've taught us, whether that's real or not. Anyway, my opinion is, I think the water on the moon, the water on the moon, I think there's probably the water that was on the moon would be uh, maybe the sublunar sea. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, I think it would have sunk into the moon. Probably a hydrosphere, maybe very possible. So there could be life under or just on the moon. Been saying that for years.